the University of Vermont Horticultural Center and we're standing here in a, a field that we're getting ready to plant with new trees, new apple trees this spring. So before we start we know we need to take a soil sample. So some of the things that we need is a soil auger and two buckets to put your bulk samples in, one for the bottom six inches of your soil sample and one for the top six inches of your soil sample. So we have eight rows here where trees are going to be planted. So we're going to take a representative sample uh, of each row and bulk them all together because this is a pretty uniform field. If you have something that is distinguishedly different, uh, like a very low laying spot in your field, you might want to keep that separate as a separate sample. So the first thing we do is take our soil auger, dig it into the ground until our step hits the top of the soil and that knows that we have a total of a 12 inch soil sample. We pull it up out of the ground and we take the bottom six inches and we put that into our bottom bucket. Then we take what's left, our top six inches of soil, put it in our top bucket. Now we're going to continue on and we're going to take probably about 10 representative samples from each row and we're going to bulk them all together. So now we have our um, two samples of our bottom part of the soil and our top part of the soil. Um, so what we want to do is get our bags. Um, if you are looking for a biological soil test, you will want about a pint or more of soil. Uh, if you're looking for the standard nutrient tests on your soil, this size bag will do just fine. Um, so make sure you label your bag with your farm name, your field name, especially if you're sending in samples from multiple sites at your farm. Uh, and make sure that you label it with whether it's the bottom six inches of soil or the top six inches of soil. So what I'm going to do is take my bottom sample and I'm going to mix it up. So make sure that my whole sample, so all of my samples down my row are pretty uniform within the bucket. And I'm going to fill my bag with all the soil that it will take. Want to seal it up. You're going to do the same thing for your top portion. And then we're going to mail these in to our regional soil analysis lab and we'll get our results back 